Hello. I'm essentially a creator and cooking is a creation process for me. During these episodes, what I will be focusing on is a fusion of Sri Lankan and global cuisine. And I have Abans here helping me, uh, making my life so much easier. I take so much of pleasure in the amalgamation of different colours, different flavours and different nuances, the smells and the whole sensation of it all. I'll be focusing a lot on Sri Lankan flavours, incorporating unique Sri Lankan spices and herbs such as curry leaves and the Sri Lankan curry powder and focusing on our heritage and culture. So stick with me, I have recipes and I have the craziest things to share with you guys. With the brands LG, Mistral, Elba, Felix, Pyrex and BNB Bakeware which makes the baking and the cooking process so much more convenient. This is homemade. Welcome back to yet another episode with Homemade with Abans. So today I have so many exciting things lined up for you and to start off I'm going to do a very simple weeknight dinner in my Mistral air fryer. I love the Mistral air fryer because I don't need to bother with preheating or any other sort with my air fryer. It's instant and it's very, very quick. And also, I love doing my meats in the air fryer because it reduces the fat by 90%, making it a very, very healthy option. So for my pork chops in the air fryer, I have about uh, 250 grams of pork. That's two large pork chops. I have like a little bit of olive oil and then I have my favorite ingredient, garlic. I also have a little bit of pepper. I have chili powder. It's the roasted chili powder that I'm using today. I have salt, obviously. And I have some mustard seeds. I also have a big onion to add a little bit more flavor to that. And then my trusted brown sugar to add that caramelization to the pork chops as it cooks in the air fryer. So let's start with the pork chops. I have washed it in cold water and I have made sure that it's very dry by patting it dry with paper towels. What I'm going to now do is work on my rub for the pork chops. And for that, I'm going to use my Aban mixer grinder. First things first, I'm going to add half an onion that is about 100 grams of onion. I don't need to bother with chopping it up finely because I can just throw it in and it does its magic. And to this, I'm going to add about one tablespoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of chili powder, some salt to taste and one tablespoon of mustard seeds. I'm adding a little bit more just for the good measure. And then I need two tablespoons of brown sugar. This is for that caramelization. And then to bring that all together, I need a little bit of olive oil to add flavor and to make sure all those ingredients stick together. Our rub is done, so I'm just going to take it out. If you can see, it's that beautiful mustard yellow right now, and it smells wonderful. So this I'm going to add on to the pork chops and make sure it marinates. So what is left for me now to do is just to combine these pork chops with the rub that I just prepared. I'm going to use this spatula to get all that 
beautiful oniony goodness out of the the blender for some reason pork and garlic go well together so that's what i'm playing at over here so make sure you coat both the sides so we need to let this marinate for about half an hour and then we put it in the air fryer and let the magic begin so my pork has been marinating for about half an hour right now and it's now ready to go in my mistral air fryer and i need a temperature of about 200 degrees and i'm going to put it on for 20 minutes because that's the time it takes for the pork to develop that caramelly flavor that i am looking at slowly ease this I'm now going to slide this in. 20 minutes on the clock, 200 degrees, and let it do its magic. So our pork chops are ready right now. I'm going to take that out. Wow, look at that. And if you can see, the uh, pork has the rind. The rind has nicely caramelized into a beautiful caramel color. And you can smell the spices from here. The onion especially gives out that caramelly smell. And I'm just going to plate this up. And this I am going to serve with my roasted potato salad. accompany my pork chops I'm going to do a beautiful roasted baby potato salad in my Mistral air fryer and the beauty about the Mistral air fryer is the fact that I don't have to use any oil at all The fact that I'm using uh, as less oil as possible makes the dishes all the more healthy. To start off, I'm going to toss all my baby potatoes in a bowl. I've washed them, I've dried them, so they are very clean. And I need a drizzle of olive oil. The reason I'm adding olive oil is not because the air fryer needs the oil, I'm just adding it for flavor because I like a little bit of oil in my dishes. And then I need a sprinkle of salt. Generous sprinkle. And then some pepper. And I need some chopped garlic and I'm going to use my Aban's grinder to chop my garlic. The beauty of the Aban's grinder is the fact that I don't need to uh, waste time mincing it with a knife. I just need to throw it all in and at the click of a button everything is done for me. So you see the garlic is chopped to perfection. And I need a little bit of chunkiness in my garlic, so which is why I've left it at this point. So about a good tablespoon of that. So mix it all in. Make sure all that olive oil and the spices are well coated in the potatoes. And then we need a bit of parsley for this. So I am going to grab a bunch of parsley. Just roughly chop it up. I'm using parsley today, but if you want, you can even use oregano, rosemary, because these are flavors that go well with potatoes, especially baby potatoes like this one. So add that all in. A hit of green. So vibrant. My potatoes are now ready. So I need a temperature of 200 degrees. 
and I need about 20 minutes in the air fryer for my potatoes. Just toss all that in. And now we wait. So my potatoes have been roasting in our Mistral air fryer. So I'm just going to take it in. And if you can see, the crinkly, crispy skin has come out beautifully and it smells divine of spices and potato basically and I'm just going to whisk this in so you get the aroma of garlic here and you can actually see little pieces of garlic here and there's garlic there's parsley there's all kinds of spices here and you can actually get that aroma and I'm going to make a very simple salad out of this. So I need to grind up my roasted almonds in my Aban's mixer grinder. Pieces, I just need like uh, very roughly chopped pieces to add into my salad. It's not very fine, but you still get like little pieces like this, which is awesome for that crunch. Right, so to this, I need to add that almond, a few leaves of parsley for some extra color and freshness. You don't need to chop it that finely. Just a light scattering. And then half a tablespoon of olive oil to bring that all in. to mix it up. I am going to serve that up with my pork chops. So there you have it, my simple weeknight dinner in the air fryer, pork chops and roasted potato salad. So the air fryer is a very versatile thing. You can make anything in the world in it, including frying up brinjals, even caravilla for your caravilla sambal and even fish ambutia in the traditional banana leaf you can prepare in my Mistral air fryer. So this versatile object in my kitchen has helped me in so many ways. And today what I presented to you is this pork chops and potatoes dinner that you can make in a hurry. I came up with this wonderful mango cake that you are going to absolutely love. So let me show you how it's done. So we first start by peeling the mango. I have a big juicy mango over here and it looks delicious even by itself. Mango is actually one of my favorite fruits on earth. Sri Lanka is well known for its abundance of mangoes and I think it should be named the national fruit. What do you think? Now we are done peeling and I need to cut this into small cubes. I love the fact that this mango is very fleshy that gives us more flesh to work with. So. So I have the cut mangoes over here and I'm going to mix it with one tablespoon of flour. I just need the flour to coat everything. 
because I need the pieces to be separate, otherwise it tends to cling together. So let's get to the cake mixing part. I have one cup of butter here, which I'm going to add to the ball. It's at room temperature so that it's easy to beat. And I need one cup of sugar, and I'm using brown sugar in this recipe. I usually use brown sugar in all my sugar recipes because brown sugar is the less refined version of sugar. And I like to keep my food healthy at all times. We need to mix the two of them in. And for that, I have the Philips hand mixer. And the beauty of this Philips hand mixer is it comes with two years warranty. Then that is a worldwide warranty. And the hand mixer also comes with two door hooks which I use for my cookie doughs and bread doughs and all kinds of doughs. And today what I'm going to use is the cake mixer or the whisk, which is ideal for cake beating. We start off at a low speed. And I love the fact that this has five speeds that allows me to control the speed with which I beat the mixture. I think our mixture is now ready for the eggs. Just a little bit more, the mixture needs to be a bit light when you beat it together. So I'm going to add two eggs to this. So we need to mix it all in until the mixture is light and creamy. Because I need all that air beaten into the mixture. And I love the fact that this hand beater is very lightweight and no wonder because Philips is the number one uh, brand for kitchen appliances, small kitchen appliances all over the world. So this is the consistency that we are looking at. It's light and creamy and it's doubled in size and the air has been beaten into the mixture. So, if you actually have a taste of it right now, which I love doing, you can taste all that butter and the air beaten into the mixture is actually very refreshing. So to this, I need to add half a cup of coconut milk. This is the thick coconut milk that I'm using. And like I mentioned, it's a very Sri Lankan cake, coconut milk, mango, how Sri Lankan can it get? Sri Lanka in a baking tray, I would call it. Right, so now that is all mixed in. What is now left for me to do is add the flour. Let's just set this aside for a bit. And I have one and a half cups of flour over here. And to that, I am going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and roughly mix that in. So the flour mixture goes into the wet mixture here. So let me just put that in. And this goes into the wet mixture right now. And you will end up feeling like a marshmallow, which I am not complaining about. So the butter and the sugar and the flour and the eggs have to be mixed in quite roughly so that you get this really creamy, really nice smelling mixture which I'm just going to have a taste of. I love doing this. My mother used to scold me for this but you know I'm an adult now, I'm allowed to do this. Hmm, perfect. So I have the mango mixture that I prepared earlier. It's just raw cut mangoes, very ripe. Uh, mixed with a little bit of flour. So the mango is in my flour mixture right now. So what I'm going to do is roughly mix it in. I don't want to beat it in because I don't want the mango pieces to get squashed. I want them to remain beautiful and light right in the mixture. 
So what I now have here is a spring bottom bake pan, which is from the Abans B&B Bake Range, which is very useful when it comes to this kind of cakes because it allows you to spring the bottom and remove it like this, so that taking the cake off the pan is so much easier. I need to grease it with some non-stick spray. So my cake mixture now goes into my prepared baking tray. Let me get everything, all that coconutty, mangoey goodness into this baking tray. So now this goes into the oven for about 20 minutes. I think our cake is ready right now. And let me have a look. Ah, look at that. It's beautifully golden on the top. And you can see the little bits of mango in there. And I'm just going to leave this here for a little bit until it cools down so that I can just whip it out of the tin and onto this cake tray over here. So I think it's sufficiently cool, but it's still a bit warm to the touch. So I'm going to use this to hold this. I'm going to spring this open. The cake comes out just like that. This is why I loved the spring bottom cake pan. And I need to transfer this cake onto this cake plate over here. There you have it. My mango and coconut cake with the beautiful flavors of Sri Lanka, coconut and tropical mango. So I have a little feast in front of me right now. So let me just dig into the pork chops and I can't just wait to taste this. So I'm going to dig into this. Hmm. You get that crispy skin and then the middle of the potato is beautifully cooked. It's very light and fluffy and then you get that coating of all the spices that I've used in it. And then you also get the crunchiness from the almonds, the roasted almonds, the salt, and the parsley especially as a hit of freshness right into this dish. So let me just dig into my favorite part of this meal, the pork. If you can see this, I don't know if you can see this, it's beautifully moist inside, and you get this char on the outside, that has been crusted with all the herbs and the onions and the garlic that I have used in this dish. So let me dig in. Hmm. This is what I love about pork. I've prepared it in the air fryer with absolutely no oil. This is a masterpiece and you should totally try this. It's a restaurant quality dish that I've prepared right at home in my Mistral air fryer. And then I have my other favorite uh, part of this whole feast, my mango and coconut cake. Look at that. You can get the bits and pieces of mangoes here. That is all that beating that went in. So let me just have a taste. Hmm. It's a lovely buttery cake, but with that mango creating that tropical goodness and the coconut flavor coming up ever so slightly. It's not too overpowering, but you get that beautiful combination of mango and of coconut milk in this dish right here. I'm going to say goodbye for today. Tune in next week, same time, with Abans and me, Jayani, for more new recipes and more new adventures. Signing off for now, good night.